Fanfare of Adolescence, Episode 5. Yung pala nakita, nakita natin post-credit scene sa last episode, kinery over dito. How? Because instructor um, Nohira uh, had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Hayato. Eh, sinabi, sinabi lang siya na uh, you're a little over the um, over the required weight and uh, you, maybe you should uh, yeah you, you, you should get, you should do something about it before uh, before their school's board decide to um, no, basta tanggalin na lang siya sa school may nakarinig dito si uh, I forgot his name at well, narinig niya na mag ama pala ito si Haya si Hayato at si si Mr. Nohira mag ama pala ito so but while this issue was being um, uh, is, this issue was being somewhat excruciatingly shown Yu's past starts um, starts coming back at him uh, coming back at him kasi yung dalawa niyang kasama sa Mr. Doctor dumalaw inexpose pala kay Yu nila ang plano ng kanilang dating manager who is oh, Oh, who was also, also the CEO of the record label? Yeah, obviously the record, uh, the record label or their talent agency. Parang ganon yung interpretation. Interpretation unito eh. They told him the plan of this woman, whom we mis uh, mistakenly took as Yu's grandmother. Nope, she's far from it. She's no relative. Na ang plano para nito. Kaya pala niya inalaw na i-record ng ng isa yung yung nagre-record na babae. Gusto nilang i-upload ito as an online docu. They want to tell the entire fan base of Mr. Doctor that well, basically you is not cut out to be a jockey. During their day off, pinuntahan nga ni you uh, ang dati nilang manager do sa yeah, pinunta kanya mismo. Kinonfirm ng manager. And, well, due to his, um, <clears throat> obviously, he was really pissed off. He walks out of the office. So, pagbalik niya, uh, nag-usap sila ni, ni Hayato. Kasi, Hayato wanted to, um, wanted to, wanted to use the dummy horse for his version of uh, monkey riding. Kasi, uh, Yun ang ano nila, yun ang, yun ang pinagre-reviewan nila ngayon on how to monkey ride a horse. Eh yun, eh, binangkit na ni, ni Yu yung problema niya. And, well, all of a sudden, Hayato just, wow, he, he reacted like he, like he, like he knew you that well. When you try to apologize, he said, don't apologize. And he just walks out of the gym. Alright, final scene. It's actually another post-credit. Ito na, yung, uh, yung araw ng exam nila. Wherein they will uh, titignan ng mga instructors kung uh, gano'n sila ngayon ka-proficient sa monkey riding. Ang magkatapat si Yu at si Hayato. Napansin ni, uh, ni Shun na yung kabayo ni Hayato ay medyo hindi mapakali. So, uh, nag-start na. nag na start yung si Instructor Nohira. So, pa. Karera na. So, Hayato was in the lead. Then, all of a sudden, biglang nag-freak out. Parang, yeah, parang, parang, uh, parang dito, naging makulit bigla yung kabayo ni Hayato. Then, um, uh, siguro, in a state of panic, he tried to restrain the horse. Bigla niyang, bigla niyang ginerk yung, yung reins na ganon. So, syempre, mabibigla yung kabayo. And, well, if you've seen the episode, you try to, uh, try to help him up, but to no avail. Mukhang, yeah, mukhang na-accidente sila pareho. Patreon, mga kalay style, we're gonna break that episode down now. Critics of style. Peace! Mula nung, 
kinumpronta ni Yu ang, ang manager ng Mr. Doctor naging medyo naging excruciating ang pacing. Yeah, although it was yeah, the typical slice of life slowness pero parang yeah, sa, sa, I told myself oh boy mukhang looks like this is not going to be the end of this episode. <laughs> then it got 10x sa final scene. Ayun nga nung, yung aksidente and at that point, the pacing will make you think, Oh boy, nag-culminate na ang mga, mukhang inalat na ang mga bida. But do I have complaints, Patreon, mga ka-lifestyle? Nope! Flow naman! First gear shift here was when, um, nung kinumprontan ng, ng isang, uh, I forgot his name already, kinumpronta si Ayato mismo kasi, Ito pala ang nakabunyag sa sikreto niya that Instructor Nohira is his father. Eh, sinabi ko Why did I call it a gearship? Because if you're going to base it on the final scene, you can cite this gearship as the root cause of it all. Kasi sa la, sa um, sa tindi ng iniisip ng batang to, well, matatala niya ito sa performances sa school. Yeah, it was a rather profound gearship because, well, all teenagers go through this. They got, sometimes they got issues with their parents, but with either their, their mother or their father. Natural lang to because they, they are adolescents. They are teenagers. They all go through this. Second gearship was when, ayun na, nung, uh, when you confronted this former manager about um, about Mr. Doctor re- um, revealing to him her plan for for you. That's a no-brainer of a gearship, folks. Kasi, eh, siguro, ang tingin ni, ni Yuri to, eh, up to now, their manager wants to wants to control his life. This is probably one of the reasons why he left. Why he made that career change. And we can now see, well, we can also basically assume now that um, this uh, this fat lady is the is is the real villain of this anime. That's why I call this a gearship because I'm damning repercussions. Eh? Final gearship is of course the final scene. Whew. It was rather tough to watch because no kung na accident rin si Yuri to na damay it. And wow, well, let's hope he's, let's hope the main pro tag is okay. So these three these three gear shifts that I saw, guys, the first two will have implications if not in the next episode as we go along in this anime. Plot wise, nope, no, not even an explainer sequence. Kaya. Malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle Patreon. And there's nothing to, uh, there's nothing to expound on this. It's just a clean plot. Talagang, pinakita lang sa episode na to, kung paano inalat ang dala si Hayato at si Yu pagdating sa final scene. Paano sila, paano nagsimula yung, yung pag-aalat nila. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, Pan Pair of Adolescence, Episode 5. Relatable. Two thumbs up. Bakit? Like I said a while ago for uh, for the first gear ship. It's quite a relatable episode. Kasi, here, here you have the main protagonist, who's a former celebrity. Right? He's part... He used to be part of a part of a very famous boy band. At ayo siyang bitawan ng kanyang dating manager. She wants him back into Mr. Doctor. And well, that's go that is basically going against his own career decision. Eh masama naman kung ganun, right? 
No matter what your intent is, talagang lalabas kang kontrabida rito. No matter what your intent, no matter what your, uh, no matter what your intent is, basically, lalabas ka talagang kontrabida rito. Now, sa case naman ni Haya to, he wants to, to basically prove to his father that he can also make it as a jockey. Yun nga lang, his weight is the problem right now. Dahil, mukhang nahihirapan siyang ipababa yun. Kasi, we all know, uh, if, if you're not familiar with the sport of horse racing, all jockeys have a minimum weight. Kapag nag-exceed ka rito, you are not allowed to race. Okay? Bakit kamatay pa ng kabayo ito? Yung pagiging overweight mo. So, the horse racing school in this um in this uh, in this anime is mukhanga is really strict about the uh, the weight requirement. Sa tindi ng mga problema ng dalawang characters na to, it all came to a head in the final scene. So, let's just hope that both of them are okay, especially the main protag. Because well, he's got the whole world on his shoulders, proverbially. He was a former idol. And he really wants to disprove his former manager of his career decision, of uh, uh, him being right about his career, his career decision. Kaya, tutukan pa natin ito. Alright? So again, Fanfare of Adolescence, Episode 5, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Fanfare, mga ka-lifestyle. Relatedly, especially, uh, especially with, the, with Hayato's fatherhood issues. So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, wala na ako magagawa sa inyo. Ay, chill, chill lang kayo dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll still... Pwede? And I'll see you in the next one.